Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about what Reddit developers think is the best start to learn math if you are not too good at maths. Want to know how to become a developer without a degree? Check the description below. Khan Academy is pretty solid. I went from basic algebra all the way through calculus using it, and it's well ordered slash explained and completely free. Wow nice, how long does something like this take? I think if people used Khan Academy instead of regular school, they'd probably graduate like 4 years earlier. But then you'd have a bunch of minors that can't work walking around with nothing to do. I think beginners overestimate the level and knowledge of math required for software engineering jobs. I'd argue you're better off focusing on your choice of programming language, software engineering principles and basic devops. Once you begin feeling comfortable with these, then go on to learning new supplementary skills. 95% jobs involve creating slash maintaining CRUD applications. Maths is hardly a prerequisite here. Now if you're in school, that's a different thing. I work on complex financial software and we hardly use math beyond basic algebra. As long as you understand bedmas then you're set lol. Far more useful to learn basic algorithm and data structures, as well as mastering how objects work and solid principles. One guy on here was saying how he graduated two years ago, but was certain he wasn't prepared for a job because he hadn't mastered leak code and calculus, so he never applied, spent two years learning math theory instead. Such a waste. Certainly, but if one plans to go into data science CTC, I believe a solid foundation in math is necessary. Math isn't necessary until you get into certain types of programming way later on like machine learning or quant. What's far better for early stuff like learning Python, JavaScript, C Java, etc is formal logic, x. The opposite of I'm a liberal isn't I'm a conservative. The logical opposite is simply I'm not a liberal. If there are 30 students inside a classroom and only 20 of them are my students, then it is true that some students in the classroom are not my students. Edit. A whole formal logic class isn't necessary. Booleans and bang slash negations are the most important, but taking the entire class helped me tremendously with following flows of logic. Sorry I took my class at uni over a decade ago. IDK where outside of that would be good places to find classes. Yes, very basic algebra and PEMDAS are both important. I assumed basic middle school algebra of setting a variable wasn't so important to have to spend time explaining. The opposite of I'm a liberal isn't I'm a conservative. The logical opposite is simply I'm not a liberal. Hatter I wish redditors understood this. You are very likely worrying too much about math, and it's going to cause you to waste a lot of time right now. Focus on programming, and if you hit a roadblock related to math, then worry about math. You almost definitely will not hit a roadblock related to math. For most applications, I think basic algebra and some boolean should be fine. If you want to get into more advanced topics like machine learning, then it's crucial that you have a solid understanding of linear algebra and calculus. My recommendation is the YouTube channel 3 Blue one Brown. He makes by far the best math videos I have ever seen, and if you hate math it will make you love math again. Khan Academy, MIT Open Coursera. TL, Dr. Complex Maths isn't as important as basic maths and the ability to think things through. For the most part, basic maths will serve you quite well. There are a few places where you need other things, but they tend to be specific to the job. One of the things that you do need for programming is called Boolean logic. Don't worry, it's not too complicated. A Boolean is something that can have one of two values, it's either true or false. They are used for making comparisons and controlling the flow of a program. For example, is this number equal to 10? Is a Boolean statement. You can combine them together in three different ways and compares two statements. It is true when both of them are true. For instance is this number less than 10? And is this number greater than or equal to 5? Or compares two statements. It is true when either of them are true. For instance is this number less than 5? Or is this number greater than or equal to 10? Not is true when the statement is false. 
For instance not is this number equal to 10. These can then be combined with each other to create more complicated statements. I just learned about boolean question a few days ago from CS50, but I only learn that it is a question with two values. I understand how it can be incorporated three different ways, but seeing your example above I'm a bit confused. Aren't all three examples supposed to help you find that one value? From the end statement, it is looking for a value between 5 to 9, or is looking for two sets of value between 4 and below, and 10 and above, was there a typo with either, that it was supposed to be neither, not is looking for any value, that is not 10. I'm sorry, if I sounded clueless, but I wanted to understand the concept properly by understanding every example I come across. I look forward to the explanation. Thank you. You can use Boolean logic to find ranges of values. You're right, the examples I've given will find ranges of numbers, not individual numbers. The OR example isn't a typo, it's correct for any number that is less than 5, or for any number that is greater than or equal to 10. Ranges are typically more useful. For example, is price less than 20 pounds? Is a boolean statement, and it's the kind you'd find on Amazon or eBay, for filtering the prices of objects. This one will give true for all products, that cost less than 20 pounds. Is price less than 20 pounds, and not is product supplied by crappy supplier is an example of a statement that uses, and and not together. Don't worry about sounding clueless. Everybody's clueless at one point. I'd be happy to help out if you have any more questions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.